Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to 88 Racing. Well, today, do you see the smile on my face? You'd ask why is this? This is because KTM India and me we present to you KTM TNT, which is Track and Test. This is a track event, first time held in my hometown, Guwahati. And today we have a lot of participants. Like there were 198 registrations. That's almost 200 registrations. And we are very excited to give all the customers a very good feeling of the track and this is an initiation basically so all the customers are gonna get uh, kind of initiated and uh, they're gonna get a feeling of how it feels to ride on track so this is just the start and keep watching the whole vlog for the entire day's progress <laughs> Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first edition of TNT that is Trek and Test from KTM India. So firstly thanks a lot to KTM India for organizing such a beautiful event for us. Uh, this event is mainly concentrated on circuit racing. The, this is closed circuit racing. What is a circuit? Circuit is something that you go out from one side and then you complete it on the other side. That is the basic meaning of a circuit. Out here what we do is we explore the full potential of our machines. Now today you'll get uh, a chance to taste your machines or, or we have a beautiful lineup of around 7-8 machines from KTM. So you get a taste of all those machines. So I'm going to take you out. I'm going to give you a few sighting laps. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, where the track is good to go and where you have to you know, go down a little bit, uh, slow down a little bit like there's one section on the last part of the track where uh, there's a small uh, ton, uh, culvert. So what we have to do is we have to go very slow over it and we have to take a very uh, definite line. So I'll show all of you how to take that line. You just have to follow me for the first few sighting laps and then we go full pace. Okay. Next comes the flags. So normally on a racetrack we have uh, the red flag which means the session has stopped. Whenever you see a red flag, uh, session has stopped. There's a green flag, yellow flag, checkered flag and blue flag. But for today's event we just have two flags. These are the two flags. Okay. First is a KTM flag which will be waved to you at that point where there's a slight bump so that you know the, to get cautious. This is the most important part to hang on to a bike because when you're going down into the corner finally so this is gonna uh, give you all the grip to have yourselves on the bike. Okay, If you don't have enough grip here you're gonna put a lot of strain on the handlebar. If you do that you lose the front. Okay, you need to make the front do whatever it wants to. You just need to guide it very slowly and with the inputs. If you're too stiff on the handlebars, you're gonna lose the front. This is entering the corner. What happens when you exit? When you exit, way on the foot peg, outer foot peg, and just uh, put on the throttle and don't put your butt up immediately. Okay, so one right-hander you have exited. As soon as you exit, Suppose the bike is leaned over, don't put your, don't sit, just sit like this. Because when you sit like this, with that speed and that acceleration, your bike will move. Okay, if you suddenly sit up. So be hanging like this, have a good grip on the foot pegs and just throttle. Trust the throttle, trust the rubber, it will get you through. Okay, I'll be doing the same things in front of you at a very slow pace. So you'll have an idea, rough idea, how to follow me. So these are the three body positions. Third thing is throttle control. Now, first is understanding how the throttle works. The throttle on these bikes, they all have electronic throttle. So they are very precise. Sometimes what happens, uh, bikes with cables, throttle cables, they are not very precise. They are, they can be manipulated. Some Sometimes the cable, it's malfunctioning or something. Here, all those things don't happen because it's an electronic throttle. The amount of input, suppose there's a 30% input on the throttle, you will have 30% input on your gas. So you realize, okay, what happens, you lose the rear. We don't want anything of that sort. We do this in very advanced and re, uh, later stages when you know we slide or we want to control the trajectory of the bike with the rear brake. Then we use it, but this is like very later stage. Right now, what we'll do is we'll just use the front brake.
so that was a full day of excruciating fun and pain at the same time because I have been riding for the whole day and I'm dead ass tired right now. So anyway, we'll go back home right now and uh, start editing the video because we need to bring you the best content, whatever there is, especially from Guwahati. With that said, this is Sashank Sharma saying goodbye from 88 Racing. See you in the next vlog.